Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today about what I considered my planner fills were for the year. And what I have in front of me are three small notebooks, planners, that I picked up. And technically my rings were also a planner fail, but because they're so versatile, I can use them at any point, so I don't necessarily see it that way. I don't know if I see any of these this way except for the first one I want to show you. So my 2024 weekly Moleskine pocket. Oh, I just loved the idea of this being a small little book to carry around with me and to just document for myself be, being a personal agenda and it went really well and I can always bounce back into this. It is so cute and I still enjoyed it. I recognized very quickly I needed more space and at the time I was working so much that I felt it would be fine and even more helpful to me to not feel like I have to fill up such a big space at the time. Well after those months of being hyper busy my work schedule went back down to a neutral place and I switched out of this and really dedicated myself into my Hobonichis. So yes, I would consider this a true planner fail. I did not keep it up more than maybe two months. So that's the first one. The second one I would say is my interest planner I keep a lot more in this and do a lot of journaling in here although i have some pictures printed off i did not even write about them all i could still fill it up of course and i plan on doing that but as far as keeping up with it since january i have failed to do that so this will be a, a shelved project for sure i am keeping both of these books and look I'm hoping in the future if I get the itch to jump into a Han I will use this old it'll be an old one by then <laughs> um I will use the Han in the future and if I get the itch to jump back into a weekly planner I'll just redate this one and I'm just glad that I have them here I could do that but I do consider these my planner fails this one is a semi-planner fail because this one was more for my emotions and my personal stuff so there's not a lot i can show you in this um i did fill up until the middle of march and then from there it's all blank so i also did not oh maybe i did a few pages in april well let's see Yep, just a few sprinkled in pages here and there. I can show you this page. And I'm going to basically take out a lot of the personal stuff in here and I'm going to go ahead and give this away to someone special who I know would really appreciate it and have fun journaling in it. So I wanted to go ahead and rehome this one, but that is a planner fail. So my last ones would be my rings. I set them all up and then I ended up honestly using them a handful of times. And I do like the rings. I think they're a wonderful option, but for this year, I definitely went with more so the bound books. I am grateful for the past fails because it gave me the idea of One Book July Revivify. So I'm grateful I never got rid of this book. I just shelved it. I worked on it a couple times in 2023 and now I'm using the about a month's worth of just doing anything I possibly can, which I'm copying, I believe I'm copying, the KISS system by Moniki Plans and it was dubbed the KISS system by Mel from Everything Marmy. So if you are curious, please go enjoy their channels. And I have set this up for One Book July Revivify and I'm not gonna 
July. I've been starting it early. I started it uh, last week and I've got a lot of pages filled in here and I just want to say even though we have planner fails, we do have the option to jump back in them and create something wonderful to look back on. So let me get my Moleskine Daily from 2022. This was also a planner fail from last year. I picked up this 2022 agenda from Moleskine. It's a daily planner. So you get your days, the date, and a timeline. And the idea of this, it was so exciting. I did start to redate it, as you can see with these stickers at the top. I didn't feel like it was difficult. It did just get really bulky and I used to not really like that and now I'm really into the bulk. So I I am still working in this. I want to work in it at least uh, a couple months every year, especially when I'm running really busy. So before I got the weekly version, I did start using this because I considered buying a 2024 version and I'm really glad I didn't because I jumped into this and I wanted to see, you know, how long I would keep it up. So let's find where I jumped in here. Oh, good. So when I started using this again, it was in March and it looks like it was the 12th. So all I did was after I redated it last year, I, I redated it again this year and March 12th went on a Tuesday and I put this paper clip to mark where I started. So all my previous work would be skipped so I can just jump right into this month. So what I did in here was I just wanted to bullet journal. I didn't have a lot of time and I wanted to really see what I was doing in a day and I was doing a lot, you guys. And every everything I was meant to do, I ended up crossing off when I had it completed. And I really enjoyed the system. I worked with it a lot. And then I got a little more creative when my work wasn't so heavy and I would try to journal a little bit and this day I had off. So I just marked it down for celebrations. And then these days where I'm bullet journaling again, <laughs> I am definitely picking that back up. So. I just keep going and I believe I quickly fell off so I use this just for maybe a couple days so I'm glad I did not buy a new one of these I would have just used it for a handful of days and then dropped out of it I am still keeping this shelving it so if I get the itch to ever jump into a daily I will use this and see if I can recommit to it which as of right now <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working as good as I have planned, but for the days I needed it, it did work. So that's my previous planner fail that I repurpose and I am So this is not a planner, it is just a sequence a is it an A6? Yeah. It's an A6 notebook. I ordered because I was curious about their paper quality and I really like them so down the road this is not a planner but I did order it this year and I have not touched it it's just sitting on my shelf staring at me and down the road I would love to use it as like my own personal journal and I'm thinking about doing something in the future with my main planner and then having like a kiss system in a different notebook I'm not sure, but that's just an idea that I have. So I don't think planner fills are terrible. I think if we repurpose them and enjoy our time in them later on, even if it's like once a week <laughs> in a year, it's fun to just flip through and try things. And if you already have it, then there's no point in buying another one. You already have one. So no, I don't think planner fills are like bad necessarily. I think they happen. And I'm looking forward to still reworking them. I love One Book July Revivify. I do feel like next year I'm going to be doing One Book July Revivify again. 
because I have truly started enjoying this. I've been in it for nearly two weeks. I can show you today. So today's the 27th. I have really been enjoying the system. I love it. I have so many tabs in here and we're going to go through that in probably the next video. But, you know, this is my book from last year that I was too chicken to really use and I have found a purpose and I'm filling it up impressively quick. I did not think I would be writing as much as I am in here and enjoying it as much as I have. But the planner fills are great because if you look at it and from a different angle, they're opportunity for you to go ahead and reset and jump into another planner when you have the itch to do so and just enjoy your time and have fun with it. As long as you give yourself grace and are enjoying your time and planners, rehoming the ones that you know could be rehomed, then planner fails happen and I think it's all right. I think it's a great opportunity. So that's all I have for you guys today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.